If you need any Xbox or PlayStation codes or any cheap PC games, check the referral link in the description down below. It'll take you to G2A and you can use the code CHES at checkout for an extra discount. Don't forget to download the Gamer Saloon app from your Android or Apple store. Go and win yourself some money playing your favourite games. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again and welcome to episode number 31 of the My Player series here on FIFA 16. We start, hopefully, with a game against Crystal Palace in the league. In fact, we don't start with a game against Crystal Palace in the league because we haven't been selected. There's an international break upcoming, so uh, we won't play then against Crystal Palace, but we should be selected for the game against Southampton in uh, the following week and then obviously against Stade Rene in the Europa League as well. Perhaps we've just been dropped because stamina isn't quite as high as it could be considering we've just played in that game against Sturm Graz on the 29th of September and it's only a couple of days later we have that league game against Palace. So Stephen Naismith will start in my place. And then uh, we'll have to wait and see, but we should be selected for Southampton and Stade Rene. Uh, thank you very much for the support on the previous episode. You guys went absolutely nuts. You really enjoyed that uh, Barclays Premier League debut episode. So uh, big thanks to you for all of the, uh, the, the comments and the thumbs up and the likes, etc. If we could get close to a 1,000 likes again, that'd be absolutely superb for today's episode. But we get a 4-2 win against Palace. Morales with a brace, Naismith with one, and Lukaku with one as well. Now, we have scored a couple of goals so far this season. So, uh, you know, we're not necessarily having our, our first team place uh, driven away from us thanks to the performances from uh, Ross Barkley and... Uh, Stephen Naismith because we too can get on the score sheet ourselves and we've proven that so far this season. In fact, let's check the squad report and we'll see how well we've been getting on. We've scored two goals in five games so far in all competitions. So uh, hopefully we'll be able to get our first Barclays Premier League goal today against Southampton or maybe our first assist in an Everton shirt. That is what we'd like to do now that we're at a better club. There is a higher calibre of player, so we should be able to get much more assists this year than we did last year. That is the main aim, I suppose, trying to play in this central attacking midfielder role. But I do like to score goals as well, So, and obviously I'm so used to playing as a striker on my player that uh, it's taken me a while to get used to, uh, you know, not having tunnel vision and actually playing the pass sideways to a teammate to score rather than just taking this up myself. But we'll get there and uh, we're having a very, very good career so far. We'll jump into this next game against Southampton after a couple of training sessions in the week upcoming and hopefully you guys will enjoy. If you do, drop the video a like rating and subscribe if you haven't already. Check the channel base for anything you may have missed over the past few days, of course, as well. And uh, I will cut now to the Southampton game. Is Alexander Pato for Southampton. Not the obvious starting striker for uh, the Saints today, but obviously a quality player nonetheless, regardless of the fact that it's not necessarily the uh, obvious transfer to come to Southampton from Corinthians. But he is rumoured to be wanting to come to the Barclays Premier League in real life, actually. His contract is running out of Corinthians and he would like to come back to Europe, he has said. Maybe to Italy, maybe to the Barclays Premier League. Been heavily linked with a couple of sides in the BPL. Whether he'll actually make that move or not, I'm not entirely too sure. But Jordi Klass is on the attack here. They have to get involved defensively. We can't get the block on the shot, but Phil Jagielka can. And it will be a Southampton corner after just seven or eight minutes or so. We've been... Uh, put towards back post duty, although it's gone to the near post and it, wow, Phil Jagielka, Phil Jagielka had a little bit more time there than I think he realised, but no nonsense stuff from the captain and he gets it clear again. For the second time we're on near uh, back post duty, but a man's gone down in the middle, another rather poor corner from Southampton and we should get this away thanks to Darren Gibson, slowly but surely, and we are going to work it away, playing it out from the back, rather nice football to uh, to say the least, and Lukaku could be played in behind if he can stay on side, which he hasn't been able to do to this point, but I'll call for it here from Romelu, squeeze it to me, he'll help it inside to Mohamed Besic, who has scored a very good goal in the last episode, here's Gibson, I'll call for a through ball, said we wanted to get assists etc, but we are in the box again, we've been wiped out and we've won ourselves a penalty 13 minutes gone it's going to give us the chance to get a 1-0 lead here presumably I won't be taking the penalty but it's a red card for Ryan Bertrand that's a little bit too harsh I think a yellow would have been quite sufficient in that situation. Well then, what an opening highlight. Two corners at one end and Southampton trying to take the lead. And then Ryan Birch and Dover commits with a challenge and we get a penalty. A definite foul. Really not sure that it's a red card though. I was headed away from goal but we'll have the penalty and it's going to be Leighton Baines to take it. Chance then for Everton to take a 1-0 lead. He takes the run up. Dinks it towards the middle of the goal. Very, very cheeky from Leighton Baines. Technically there, we do get the assist because we were the ones that won the penalty. It won't go down as an assist, unfortunately, for 
our uh, tally for the season, but I think we can kind of take that one as an unofficial assist ourselves. We will take that. Everton won Southampton nil after 15 minutes, and they're down to 10 men. Wanyama up to Georgi Classy. That's a nice turn, actually. And he's got a man pushing around the outside of him. He's gone for the cross into the middle instead. And again, Jagielka is the man in the way to stop Southampton from having a chance on goal. He's having an absolute stormer so far, Phil Jagielka. Probably only a matter of time before he scores an own goal at this rate. He's been able to head that one clear as well. What a captain's role he is playing today. Stones gets caught on it by Gaston Ramirez. Good shot. Well saved down low by Tim Howard. Jay Rodriguez though, might return the ball back to the central area of the box. That was really awkward stuff from John Stones. Could have, be, could have been very, very costly there. Obviously having a 1-0 lead against 10 men gives us quite a, uh, a decent position in this game. But if we're going to make defensive mistakes like that, it's not going to be the easiest of afternoons. But if their finishing continues to be of that quality, then it may be an easy afternoon. It's Kevin Morales. Comes short, and he'll play me in. We'll keep the move going to Delafeu across to Besic. Plenty of space for Seamus Coleman on the overlap here. The cross is coming my way. I'm trying to get there with a the header, but Cedric gets it clear, beats me to it, and the right back gives us a corner with 10 minutes to go in this first half. I'm on the edge of the box here. It's not headed my way. It may fall to me if the uh, ball gets past me here by Darren Gibson. We'll help it on its way there to John Stones. That's a lovely ball into Lukaku. I'm actually going to go for a finesse there and it's blocked by Jose Fonte. Wanted to say that with my right foot actually, but never mind. He took it with his left and we'll have another corner. A little bit closer into goal this time. Corner's going to come in from Delefeu again. This one is headed my way, but Fraser Forster comes and punches it clear. Giant frame on Fraser Forster. He's obviously six foot six or six foot seven. Here's Romelu Lukaku though. He's gone for a dinky little chipped finesse. Oh, and Delefeu mistakenly tries to keep that in. We could have had another corner. Decent shot by Lukaku. They just kind of dug that out towards the far top corner, but it was a very good save by Fraser Forster in the end, using again all. Uh, Every single last inch of that six foot six frame of his. Lukaku steals that off. Jose Fonte and Romelu Lukaku's in. Now I'm going to push all the way to the back post. We're in a bit of space. He's drilled it across. No! Can you believe it? The volley was hit perfectly and we smashed it straight off the foot of the post. Gorgeous ball across by Lukaku. He couldn't have weighted that any perfectly. We couldn't have gotten a more perfect connection on the ball either, but we've smashed it straight against the woodwork. Chance to make it 2-0 and put the game out of sight for 10 men Southampton, and we just couldn't quite do it. Wonderful opportunity. We've wasted it, but Leighton Baines' penalty is the difference at half-time. There we go. Played in by Delefeu. See Morales making the run inside the box. See if he can get the turn and he can. Morales! We've gotten our first assist. Technically second because of the penalty. But first... Oh, I'm running the other way. First genuine brick drop through Kevin Morales. Our first official assist as an Everton player. Fantastic. Nice ball into me. And you can see my guy looking up trying to find Morales. Gorgeous turn around the defender. And well, that's a very good finish as well, isn't it? On his left foot. We'll take that. Everton 2, Southampton 0. Nothing 6 foot 6. Fraser Forster can do about that one. That gives us a 2 goal advantage and almost guarantees us all 3 points. Classy fires that into Pato around the corner to Oriol Romeu, who draws a good save out of Tim Howard. Southampton not giving up on this one just yet. Gaston Ramirez back to Cedric. We're in defensive duty here. We've gotten the deflection in, or the interception perhaps. We'll try and continue to put Cedric under some pressure, but he finds Dusan Tadic. Across to Jay Rodriguez. Virgil van Dijk gets the turn. He goes for the shot of the near post. Another smart reaction save from Tim Howard. Throw in to Southampton. Well... It's 2-0 and we said it was guaranteed three points, but Southampton, even with 10 men, have definitely had chances enough to get a couple of goals in this one. Tim Howard has had to be on top form to stop them from getting on the score sheet thus far. Cedric with the throw. He's going to give it to Romeo, who stands to cross up. There's the header from Virgil van Dijk, of all players, further forward. Had the shot that led to the throw-in and has now had the header from the throw-in that has led to Southampton getting a goal back. Really powerful header. John Stones not doing too well underneath it, but Virgil van Dijk is a very tall, physical, strong player. Stones just couldn't cope with that. Southampton have themselves a goal back as I look on there, number 29, and uh, we may have a very close final few moments. 
Final whistle's gone and we have managed to get that 2-1 victory. Confirmation that we did only get one assist there, not two, despite the fact that we won the penalty. So, never mind. We did have 100% pass accuracy, though, which is very nice. We'll definitely take that. And one shot on and off target throughout the entirety of the game. Very pleased with that result, actually. Would have been nice to keep a clean sheet. They did have quite a few chances, Southampton. That was a very entertaining game. And we'll jump into the second game of the episode, which should be the, uh, the Europa League game against Stade René. And we will uh, try and get ourselves three points in the Europa League to go hand in hand with our three points in the Barclays Premier League. We've got a free kick in a dangerous position after just three minutes. I'm not sure where Delefeu is going to play this. He's gone towards the middle. Lukaku misses the header, but Vesic gets it into Phil Jagielka. Where's the centre-back going to go here? He's played it to Kevin Morales. I'm going to go short, and as I go short, he dinks it into where I was, stood. But Jagielka wins it back. Phil Jagielka with a shot and a good save by Costil, the goalkeeper. First chance of the game then comes through our centre-back, of all players, up for the set piece. Maybe he might be able to get himself a clean sheet this time around, and uh, we can actually have ourselves another very, very good game here in an Everton shirt. Here's Grzycki into Mendes. Played back to a teammate just to try and keep the ball ticking over. Nice quick ball by Zafani out to Krasicki again. Could get a cross in. Tried to do so. John Stones gets the deflection on it. And it's going to be a Stad Rene corner. 23 minutes in. Kind of on my own on the penalty spot here. Nobody really to mark. So I'll back off to the man at the back post. But Tim Howard comes and claims that very nicely. He's going to hoof it up towards Lukaku. Who could win this header and knock this down to me. Which he has done. And oh, I couldn't quite skip away from Sio. Who's taken me down there. We will get a free kick. Not sure whether he's going to get a booking. Doesn't look like it. Leighton Baines then to maybe loft the free kick in, or is he just going to play it short? He has gone for the loft option. Lukaku wins it, drops to Darren Gibson, who unfortunately slashes at the shot. Gibson's had a couple of chances now in this game, but so far, none of them have been able to uh, draw a decent save out of the goalkeeper. Only Phil Jagielka able to do that to this point. We may, though, if I call for it, be able to create another chance here, though. Vesic, oh, he's gone backwards to Gibson there. Wasn't expecting that. I called for that from Gibson. Not going to get it from him. We will get it from De Feu. We'll give it back to the Spaniard. Keeping possession here through John Stones. Uh, go on, then we'll go forwards rather than sideways. We'll give it to Gibson. There's space there to get it through to Morales, but he's not going to use him. They come back to me. We'll give it to Romelu Lukaku then. He gets the touch and the turn and the shot, and it's gone just wide. Keeper very confident there of his angles, but that looked as if it was going to go on target to start off with and was, but just bent away there, as you can see. Shot decent on Lukaku's right foot. Not his strongest side, but we stay at 0-0 for now. Zafan cutting inside, backing away slightly at the minute. I was going to pounce on him to try and go for the tackle, but he passed it off before he could get there. Nice footwork from Grisicki. Great ball as well. Could be a chance. Is a chance. Is a goal for Stad René. Sio with a perfect volley into the top left-hand corner. We are behind at home at Goodison Park. Beautiful cross. Lovely footwork as well by Grisicki to completely dumbfound Leighton Baines there. Just a little to shimmy of the right foot and he whips in a beautiful ball. Really, really top quality goal from Stad René there. A lovely finish as well. Nothing Tim Howe can do about that one. Stad René 1, Everton 0. We are behind. Coleman drilled across towards Leighton Baines into me. We've switched to a 4-4-2. And rather than put me up top, we've got Mohamed... Look, I'll show you. We've got Mohamed Besic up top. Oh, no, they have actually now made the change to bring on Rodriguez, or that is an upcoming change. So Aruna Kone is up top. He's just come on from Romelu Lukaku. It had put uh, Besic up top and me at centre mid. But clearly, the manager's going to make another change the next time the ball goes out of play. And Besic will be replaced by another striker. I'm not sure who it is. Rodriguez, 68 rated. Presume he must be a youngster at the club. I, uh, I don't recognise the name, or I don't recognise the uh, the low rating with the name, obviously. We had Rodriguez in the last game against Southampton, but obviously that was Jay Rodriguez, and everybody knows who Jay Rodriguez is, but I'm not too sure who the Rodriguez is that's currently about to come on. We're on a 6.6 .6 rating, but I'm not used to playing in a, an out-and-out -out central midfield role, so this is going to be an interesting final few moments for us in this game. Really going to have to pay attention to my uh, positional awareness, but we've done well enough there to win the ball back and get it to Delafe. Morales will get it to Darren Gibson, drives it into John Stones, Aruna Kone with the shot and it goes just wide. Now less than five minutes to go as Rodriguez is going to come on. What's his first name? We'll have a look from the little, uh, it's Leandro Rodriguez. I don't know who that is. You guys might, but I personally don't. But Besic goes off, Leandro Rodriguez comes on and he's going to have to hit the ground running because we have two minutes to get ourselves an equaliser. 
Grosicki's given that straight to Gerard Delefeu. We've gone backwards to Baines. I'm here in the middle if he needs me. And he'll give it to me. And we'll try and turn back inside and fire it towards the middle. Good touch by Morales. Up towards John Stones. John Stones! No, there's the chance. There's the chance for the equaliser with practically the last kick of the game. It drops to a centre-back and he's fired it just wide. Glorious opportunity for John Stones. We are not going to get a better chance to equalise now between the end of the game and this goal kick. Ridiculously close. We've had eight shots. They've had two. And it looks like they're going to get all three points thanks to one of those two shots. Crazy, crazy end to the game. We could have had such a really nice finish there. But unfortunately, it looks like it's going to be a defeat here against Stade Rene. We got the win against Southampton and confirmed is a defeat against Stade Rene in the Europa League. We tried our best, but unfortunately our best in this game just wasn't quite good enough. It was good enough for three points in the Premier League though and our first assist as an Everton player. So really pleased with that. And uh, hopefully we can push on now and get a few more assists. We've had the chance to get a couple of assists so far in this series. We have plenty more of the ball in that game as well. As you can see, 35 uh, passes, one failed, unfortunately. So only a 97% um, pass completion rate rather than the 100% from like the 16 passes we had in the game before. But sadly... No assists in this one, no goals in this one from us as well. But despite complete dominance in the game, we weren't able to get anything from it. Never mind, we will push on into the next episode on Thursday and try and get ourselves some more points then as well. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed, of course. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check the channel page for anything you may have missed over the past few days. All my links to social media are in the description down below. I don't think I'll be streaming tonight. I've got so much recording to do that I probably won't have time to stream this evening. But we will be back tomorrow. But uh, for now, thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.